imagine just having electricity to power your computer, what would you use it for? Today I'm going to be talking about what you can use your computer for offline. So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing you could do is maybe be productive by working on your Word documents to get caught up on writing and whatnot. Um, maybe work on a PowerPoint or like work on your database keeping if you got all the materials at hand to work on. It depends on your needs for your company and what you just need to be doing to be productive. Well, even if it's like school because you can do a lot of stuff offline still. But make sure you got the program loaded before you leave because you might be out of luck if it's an online cloud-based program like Google Docs. Which I think Google Docs let you save it offline too to work on. I don't know because I mainly have been using Microsoft Office. So that's use number one. Alright, so use number two is to listen to music. Like here's a theme song for the YouTube channel. Um, you could listen to um, all sorts of kind of music. Just make sure you have it downloaded. Or if you got computer a DVD slash CD-ROM drive still, just take it in a CD and listen to it. But a lot of computers are going away from that. And that brings up number five too. You could watch movies and whatnot, which I have media play open. But of course, on Windows 8, you cannot watch movies on it anymore. And same thing I think of Windows 10. You got to go to third-party software because. Windows 10, the discontinuing media center, which not a whole lot of people used anyway. And then 8, you had to pay, a, um, I think it was like 10 bucks for media center, plus you had to have Windows Pro back, which that was a big hassle. So they're just discontinuing it because no one really used media center that much. They went to open source stuff like VLC Play and whatnot, which I don't have on here because this ain't my full laptop that I use because this is just a Windows tablet hybrid so I don't have a DVD drive and have the need to have the full VLC player which is the open source player that a lot of people use to watch movies but that's another thing you could do offline is watch movies but make sure you have the movies with you and if it's something from like Voodoo or whatnot like iTunes make sure you have that stuff downloaded too so you can watch it which I don't have iTunes on here, but I do have a few movies on iTunes if I want to watch them, but I don't use it that much. Okay, so the next one is you could paint a picture in Microsoft Paint because a lot of devices are touch screen now, so it's easy to paint stuff. But this is lagging because I'm doing screen recording, but yeah, you could paint all sorts of stuff. My favorite one is Fresh Paint from the Windows Store, which I have downloaded on here because you can do all sorts of effects instead of just having limited ones that are on Microsoft Paint. Okay, so the last one is you could play games like Jetpack Joyride, which is a popular game on the Windows Store, but you could play that. Play any other game you can play as long as you can play it offline. So no League of Legends for some people because that requires the internet. But you could play stuff like this, Grand Theft Auto. Depends on the game. So just check the capability, and if it says it can be played offline, you can. So um, this is a good way to just kill some downtime by playing games. I didn't do it much when I was offline, but then again, I'd rather just watch movies because I'm not a big gamer anyway. But some people do like their games, and they can still play them offline. So just make sure you got everything downloaded, because if you don't, you might be screwed on general if you're going uh, offline for a while, which I did for a month um, to go camping and whatnot. And I made sure I had everything downloaded just about, but there are some things I did not download all the way. And some games, even if you can play them offline, make sure you downloaded the extra files to play them offline. Because you might be mad if you open up the game and it says you need to download extra files. So I hope you like this video. I'll see you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, leave the world and bring your friends. Step inside and close the door.